What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Love is Funny. It's your boy, DJ. And that young lady over there waving is... Uh, <laughs> I'm Janelle. Well, you, you look you look happy to be here. <laughs> Are you having a good day, a good week? I'm sleepy, but I'm happy to get this started. Okay, cool. Well, look, so like we said, we're back with another episode. First of all, we want to thank everybody who tuned into the first episode. Um, we had what? I want to say response, to response than we thought. Yeah, we got a lot of support, which is good because obviously yeah. when you're starting something new, that'd be your biggest concern. Is like, is anybody even gonna want to listen to us or watch us? You know what I mean? But I know. I wonder how many actually watch the whole entire thing. Uh, okay. Well, that's a good little first little challenge for y'all on this episode. If you did watch the first one, just give us a comment and leave us like your favorite line from the first episode or favorite topic. But they could or, watch like five minutes. Hey, that will be enough. So we have to say, ask a question on like something from the end. Yeah. Oh, what's a good question from the end? What was the end? <laughs> uh, okay, towards the end, this happened. This is very simple. What was the drink that we talked about or oh, the yeah. drinks that we discussed towards the end of the video? Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, I don't care. They be like, what am I going to get for answering this? Um, first of all, at some point, we are going to be giving things away, and it will help to be like, you know what I'm saying, considered a day one supporter. That's what they yeah. be saying. Definitely. Like when we get to like 50 or 100 or something, plus the holidays are coming up. So. Yeah, and I want y'all to know something about Janelle. I'm not going to say myself. I'm going to say Janelle. She is a much more giving person than uh-huh. I am. So she's going to make sure we be real nice to people. Is that is that accurate? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, who want to play for a dollar? You're sitting on the couch, you're watching YouTube, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating. Maybe I'll subscribe next week, or maybe at the end of the video. No, do it right now. You can watch this after work or before work. Go do what you need to do to get these laughs and this entertainment. You spend all day on YouTube and social media anyhow. Why not subscribe to a channel that's going to help you in your future? Pick up your thumbs and push the button. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. Place. But anyway, so what we um what we want to talk about? What we want to talk about coming up? We know we got some a holiday coming up. We got some some different things we want to discuss. What we want to start with? Want to start with with a uh, with our with the movie we just went and saw? Oh yeah, we can start there. Okay, well, if y'all don't know, y'all should know because I'm pretty <laughs> sure all of y'all seen it too. Uh, Black Panther. What was your thoughts on Black Panther? By the way, we can try. Hopefully y'all seen it. We I guess we should try not to spoil it. I guess just give our opinion on what we thought of the movie, but or should we just spoil it? You you, you let me. I know. was looking at it through like my third eye, if that was even right, because sometimes it can be wrong because my two eyes I'm already blind. So well, um, first, <laughs> of all, first, first of all, I knew you to have either two eyes or four eyes. I never know you just had a third eye in the middle. That's what they say, like, oh, my third eye, I'm woke. Oh, wait, I get it. So you got four eyes, but one of your lenses was broken, so you only had three eyes. Cool. No, that would have gave me five. So my fifth eye. Okay, your fifth eye. Like That's my fifth eye. Okay, cool, that worked. So you wouldn't have to tell y'all what happened, because go see it, obviously. So, okay, it's a black movie. So you're like, oh, support black people for the people that were in it, but some white people made it, right? I was going to say, is it a black movie? <laughs> it's technically not. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to but because we is. know what's her name, Taraji, she was like hecka underpaid for her stuff. So hopefully these black actors, actresses, you know, get y'all money yeah, for, for this sure. movie, for all movies, all roles that you do. Yeah. But yeah. So where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. I was just like, I thought it was a race war low key, but. I don't know if that's saying too much. But people, like, he was telling me that people were saying that Angela Bassett should get an Oscar for it. And I was like, I don't know if she should get an Oscar for that. But she deserves an Oscar because that woman can act. What's that Tina Turner movie? Uh, um, what's Love Got to Do With that? that, Waiting to Exhale. She, I think she, what's else? she's been in a lot of stuff that she needs. She's so, a great actor. So are you are you judging her based on this role? Or are you judging her based on comparing her to her past roles? I'm judging her on every role that she's been in. I think she has done a phenomenal job. Okay. This one I felt like she was in and out of her accent a little bit. Oh. But 
this should not be the measure of what she should get an Oscar for. It should take into, I guess that's how they do it. So you felt like she should have been more like, I told you not to take my daughter and you, I, that I, was I, bad I got too. it. What that was that was like a, I didn't get to practice a New it. New York African? I, honestly, it could have been anywhere, honestly. That was really bad. It might not even have been. But, yeah, but that's my opinion. It was African American. But again, I don't watch a lot of movies. This is the actor, media guy, hey, so look. he may have a different perspective. No offense. Angela Bassett, I love you, girl. I feel like you look like my auntie. Does she look like my Brenda? Kind of. Yeah, so I love that lady. But yeah, that's my, my t- I guess some of my take on it. Uh, I thought that, All honestly, right. oh, go ahead. Y'all know it's a three-hour movie. Okay, that's all. Two hours and 41. Yeah, it definitely tried to catch the Titanic and whatever <laughs> other movie, the notebook, whatever other movies is known as long. But I thought the acting wasn't that bad. Um, they probably were going in and out of the accents a little bit, but it's tough to stay in that. I don't know. That that part didn't bother me. The, uh, there was only one actor that I didn't think necessarily was like that convincing, and it was the scientist girl. Oh yeah. Uh, she kind of <laughs> she kind of bothered me a little bit, but overall, I thought the acting was fine. Uh, my takeaway from it was I thought the acting was good. Yeah, I didn't well, think it was bad. But my takeaway from it was uh, again, I guess I got a third eye too, because <laughs> my takeaway from it was like. And listen, if y'all out there listening, this is just a philosophy. You feel me? Don't come and have our house around it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but my philosophy is that, look, these ideas don't come out of nowhere. So then, look, y'all going to think I'm crazy for this. But I started thinking, like, okay, everything happening on the surface is, like, real-world stuff. We see, like, they going over there to Africa trying to steal resources, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we see it's... Uh, Americans who are going over there to try to steal these resources, which we know this has gone on since the beginning of time. Um, but I also see, uh, let's just call it what it was in the movie. They were the the Mexicans or the brown people, and there was Hispanic like this, or yeah, Hispanic. There was this like tension between us when really it wasn't even like us versus each other. It was really like, you know, us needing to join forces to combat. Them I trying you're to saying too much of still, the movie. Um, they're not gonna know that from that, but yeah, basically, get our re- everybody knows what resource they want from Black Panther. Have you seen Black Panther one? You know, vibranium. Everybody wants to be wh- brown, whether tan, yeah, dark. So anyway, in the movie, which mm, a lot of people do. in the movie, which is where I say I might be going too far. I'm one who thinks that no idea in these movies, these movies on this scale, just come out of nowhere. So I was watching the movie like. What if it is some people that just live underwater? Because they say like, and it's like a whole world of people like that can that are really thriving. That just we leave them alone, I they like leave you're us alone. A lot of the movie. Okay, well it's too late now. I said anyway. I say that to say that no idea just comes out of nowhere, and I think that in a lot of these movies there be so many things where they like letting us in, but trying to make it seem like it's just imagination. Kind of like UFOs and aliens. Yeah. Because since I was a kid, every time I see a picture of an alien, they all look the same. They look the same. So I'm <laughs> like, who who made up that image of what they look like? Except for Xenon, girl of the 21st. Was they like just like floating like orb type things? I don't remember. They didn't have like the regular like boo boo like. I don't know, supernova girl. Can that be your supernova girl? That's like the best song. Disney song. Is that the best Disney song? One of the best Disney songs. Hold on, because I was about to say, the Proud Family, what? Of the movie. Well, I guess there was a Proud Family movie. But Cheetah Girls was a good one. Proud Family. I don't want to be like Cinderella. (laughs) Sitting in the car, whole dusty cell, waiting for somebody. That part I never knew. So you <laughs> 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 that part, that part I never knew. But you wasn't supposed to call me out on it because somebody else heard the well, right words. I'm not sure if I knew what they said, but I don't know if that was sitting it. in a car, some yeah, dusty I, cellar. Sitting in a maybe it says cold, dark, dusty, or cold, oh, hard, like. dusty. Or maybe because Christmas didn't they have it like a cheetah list, like with cheetah sisters, yeah. some 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 cheetah. Cheetah girls, cheetah sisters. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I can't I don't know. sing. Disney I don't got, sing. That's a whole other topic that we have to discuss another day. What's the coldest Disney song? Because it's some heat on. Uh, yeah. 
Mm. Anyway. Yeah, I like that song. <laughs> but yeah, so that's uh, that's our takeaway from Black Panther. Did you want to add anything to that? I don't think so. All right, because apparently if I keep going, y'all going to know the whole movie. I thought Literally. I was just giving, I thought I was giving a synopsis. I didn't tell no. how, I didn't but tell how But then again, I don't watch TV, so I don't know what previews people have seen. I'm pretty sure the it's world has seen, King. okay. Okay, I just want to let y'all know something. Uh, they wouldn't let me turn my heat on. Janelle made us stop at Target and buy a whole heater for this episode and future episodes, but she wouldn't come in here without a heater. The heater's too loud for the microphones. She's still cold. So now I got to lay my leg across her leg. Both of them. Or we can't do the episode. So now I'm uncomfortable, but we're going to just roll I with I said both it. of them. Your mama taught you to keep your legs closed. <laughs> no, your mama <laughs> taught you to keep your legs closed. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro, bro. bro, I can't. This ain't even comfortable. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. That's not going to work. I scooted out. So. All right. Anyway. All right. So, yeah. So, that's that was our take on Black Panther. Um, what else? Uh, what else been going on in pop culture? Oh, uh, if we're talking about race wars. Is it race? Is it not? Is it history? I don't know. But Chris Brown and Sierra. See, we can't really... Blame it on Chris Brown's <laughs> history. But why did we not do the Michael Jackson at the AMAs? Well, first of all, once Chris Brown wasn't doing Michael Jackson at the AMAs, there was no Michael Jackson because who was they about to go get? Because i seen comments. You know, they probably could have got somebody from Vegas. That, but they, like they could have had Sierra and then that person just dancing. But... First of all, what Michael Jackson movie was that? <laughs> just now? Who was that? Uh, just say the song you're trying to do. That's one of the time. Okay, but what killed me is you said that. <laughs> you said that was remember the time, but I feel like you did. Uh, Don't stop till you get uh, it. That was one I was doing first. Oh, okay. And then I went to remember the time. But that was my biggest issue. Was one they 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 canceled Chris Brown's performance, which. When the last time Chris Brown performed on an award show? That's one. Number two, they canceled Chris Brown doing a Michael Jackson tribute, which we already know how that went on the BET Awards. Then number three, that really set it off? That really set it off? They canceled a Chris Brown performance doing a Michael Jackson tribute with Sierra. And I feel like how long have we been waiting for Chris Brown and Sierra to really do a performance together for real? Oh, oh yeah, she got She has to check her. So one thing is, uh, Janelle takes care of her godparents. I told you, she's just a great person. She takes care of her godparents, and they're older. So when the phone is blowing up, she got to check it. So y'all might see that from time to time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, this is uh, brought to you by Verizon, who is our phone uh, service provider. You guys can go down to Verizon right now, and uh, the guy behind the counter is going to tell you what deals they got going on because I can't right now. Um, Otherwise, I would be lying to you. Verizon might try to sue us for everything we got, which is nothing. Yeah. Anyway, back to regularly scheduled programming. Um, so the Chris Brown thing, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, is it a black thing? Or is it because, you know, people have not forgiven him for the alleged beating of Rihanna? No, nah, it wasn't alleged. I seen the pictures. I, don't know, I just remember one time I seen something that said, she took a sack of oranges and beat herself up. <laughs> I didn't make that up. People I need to that. stop. <laughs> people, I seen that. people need to stop watching the thin line between love and hate. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, yo, people. Yo, when you got fans, <laughs> they go crazy for you. Yeah, I mean, he probably did, but something might have snapped. He got a whole documentary. We don't. Con- oh, I don't know. I don't know nothing. I don't keep up. <laughs> I'm Wait. not a pop culturist. Oh, well, go ahead. Oh, no, no. Let me not run my mouth and say the wrong thing. There's already <laughs> stuff out there. Nah, either he, either he, here's my he thing. He had to admit it, but maybe he didn't. Because, because Rihanna was working with Jay-Z, and Jay-Z is like super powerful in music. He could have got Chris blackballed at that time. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo. I don't know, dog. Now we don't condone any domestic violence at all. And I will say this: 
because they act like only men uh how do we say this i don't want to say commit uh, yeah are the (laughs) abuser sometimes we're the abusee because even in the chris brown and rihanna situation i got this philosophy that he was actually losing the fight at first (laughs) (laughs) because because it's not funny but look though they say he bit her when have the person winning ever been the one to bite it's true. We see Mike Tyson. He was getting beat up. <laughs> <laughs> he bit that man. So this is true. I think she was winning. She from Barbados. They say them island gals is crazy. So is she bigger than him? Because I feel like she's tall. I never seen her in real life. I never seen Chris Brown in real life. I don't think. Uh, they say Chris Brown might be like six one, six two. Mm. Rihanna. Did she have on heels that day? I don't know. She looked real tall in like she be real tall in person. I don't know. But this is true. I mean, there are women who do abuse men. Yeah. And in no way, shape, form is it ever okay. You know, like call nine one one. Definitely. And that's not just for women, because women's domestic violence is um always a topic. Obviously we don't want to see that, especially when men have the ability uh, physically to really harm a woman. So women should definitely, you know, call the police as they do. Get out of that situation. I know sometimes women it's can not, feel. Sometimes it's not as easy, you know, but I have, I don't want to speak too much on it because I have not been a victim of that, but because I know of people, I know that the running thing is like, it's not just as easy as you hit me once, I'm out. You know, we can say all that. You can see the memes and stuff all the time, but it's a lot more. Yeah, I think a lot of times women just feel, uh, or people in general feel like my life is in danger if I try to leave them. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's I think that's the bigger thing. Yeah, but on the flip side to it, um, um, men go through abuse as well. And I think that oftentimes it's harder to be a man who's in a physically abusive relationship. It could be mental abuse. We all know that men and women can both um, verbally abuse you to the point where your self-esteem is so low that you won't leave because you think nobody else will want you. But men also can be physically abused by a woman and feel handcuffed because it's like, again, society. We're going to talk about society a lot. tells you that you're, it's the manly thing to do is not to call the police on a woman. And my philosophy is lock her up, B. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Especially a black man. Yeah. You know, like black people in general, or I don't know, I can't speak for Hispanic culture either. I mean, but we have a thing with calling the police. And we, there's people who have tried and they do nothing. You know, but at least it's documented. So we're talking about like it's documented that hey, I made this phone call. You know, I did try to not use take matters into my own hands. I did try to call for help and things like that because we know it can go wishy washy ish either way sometimes. You know, but it's about crossing your T's and dotting your I's. That's the society that we live in as yeah. black people. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to be put in position because. It's very hard, uh, uh, again, as a man to just not let somebody keep, um, you're not going to get the other leg. We just got to face it. Oh, wait a second. Are you about to hit me right now? It's not funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you seemed really upset. I am. Well, this topic because came up and now you're Why all any other time you let me have two legs, but now you're going to be in front of people. You're not going to give me two Bro, legs. You, got, you walk around here with two legs every day. Two legs that are cold. I give you my two legs now. Guess what? I have no legs. Two legs that are cold. How you know my legs not cold? Hold on. Let me turn. Oh, oops. Okay. But anyway, like yeah. I was saying, make sure, because you don't want to be in a position where, because you can't defend yourself because the second you shove her too hard uh do anything to like get her off of you you are now uh you can become the abuser in the eyes of the law whoever she's telling or you her you, yeah so it's really you know, girls we can get frantic we can go off on you all day punch you all day yeah but the minute you lay a finger on us or yell at us it's like uh-uh yeah he hit me yeah so you definitely want to just to uh keep yourself safe call the police uh as men 
We just gonna and cancel that whole narrative of you're not a man if you call the police. Call the police on on these women that's putting their hands on y'all because um, um. I'm pretty sure a lot of you heard the story about the guy who uh, whose girlfriend he was with the Instagram model and she had been like physically abusing him and verbally abusing him and there's even a video of the audio of her yelling at him and all these types of things and finally one day she did I don't know if it was by accident or on purpose but she did kill him and it all could have been prevented had he called the police on her and not try to be the manly one and just deal with the abuse yeah and I think I was about to say prevent it maybe but I know that sometimes it's weird rules on domestic violence but you know it, like again at least getting that documentation that it will be yeah but we know that sometimes you know even like in that Medea movie I can't remember which one where Blair Underwood was beating that girl and her mom was like I don't I can't remember if she knew that he was beating her but she just wanted him to wanted her to marry him because he was rich yeah she says if mom says love will come that movie yeah yeah and that's another problem is uh Sometimes, I mean, outside of physical abuse, like uh, abuse of like status or financial, um, you know, where you stand financially, like, and this could be men or women as well, but obviously we see, uh, I don't know, I feel like we see it more with men, but where like if a man is making a lot of money, a woman won't leave him, even though she's being physically abused or verbally abused or whatever, made made to feel smaller than she is simply because of the money. Um, and I feel like that's another, like a, an abuse of power pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, oh, go ahead. No, I'm not going to say that. But yeah, so that's definitely not okay. I don't want to say it's not okay. It's not okay. I'm not going to say it's not okay. But, you know, some people just live that life and that's, you know, on them. Some people are okay okay with it yeah he does this and this and this but he does the he pays for this and this and this or i have to y'all remember when they were saying them girls was going to dubai and getting pooped on just for some money i feel like that's the same type of thing (laughs) (laughs) but i mean i guess they're not in a relationship but it's like what people will withstand or maybe they just liked it and they would have did it for free i don't know but well first of all no what people because they could have got that down for free around the corner in america why they went way to (laughs) dubai (laughs) <laughs> tells you <laughs> it just says so what people will withstand for money and you know like money is the root of all evil yeah and by the way these people with the money be knowing you're gonna withstand it so they're literally ab- abusing the, the power they have and yeah. the main thing that what people don't realize is like with domestic violence there is as long as it's allowed it's gonna keep growing so mm-hmm. if i was to get into the ha- if if Janelle let me just flick her forehead one day and don't do nothing, the next time I might, because I didn't thought about flicking that forehead. But you ain't. <laughs> but you ain't. You ain't. Try, you ain't. Try me. But you ain't. Got a lot of foreheads Girl, to flick. Boy, if, if I wasn't a Christian. Anyway. If we wasn't on camera. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Listen. Y'all know if something happened to me. All right. <laughs> but so yeah, it can it can week. grow. One day one day it may be like, you know, a shove, they get away with that. Next time it may be a mm-hmm. slap, then a punch. Next mm-hmm. thing you know, they really like beating you up. And then next thing you know, one day they accidentally kill you. Um and that sounds very like direct and very blunt, but it's the reality. Yeah. Um so don't don't ever stick around and just say, you know what, I can take these little slaps every now and then because He's giving me this certain type of lifestyle. Eventually. Be- and please don't be one that's in a relationship or any period. And like you withstand BS yeah. for absolutely nothing. I mean, you should never withstand BS, period. But don't let it be somebody who's also draining you of everything. Yeah, definitely. That is when it's like an evaluation of yourself. Like, what is it about me that makes me stay with this person? You know, not yeah. what is it about that person? What is it about me that makes me be with these this person or these type of people? Because some people go, they find themselves being attracted to the same type of people. You know, so is it like 
something you're putting out or putting off or hiding or mm. whatever, something about yourself that's drawing in, you know, lames. Hey, people do be attracted to the same person and don't realize they just keep picking the same person. Because they say, like, they say statements like, you know, we hear it all the time. All niggas is the same. Yeah. All B words <laughs> is the same. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to. All female dogs is the same. Uh, you hear these statements and it's like, no, the ones you be picking all the same because you got a type. So like you hear the girls like, man, I like me a dude that's a thug with a little bit of edge that ain't scared to go up some side somebody's head. You know, I actually, <laughs> there was a time in my life when I dated said, hood, said thug dudes. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? Let me try something different. Let me go try light skin. Or let me try a suburban kid. Hmm. And then you land it right somewhere in the middle. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a gangster, whether they know it or not. You feel me? We know, we know. <laughs> because one thing you ain't finna do is try me at mines. I'm ready to go to jail by mines, and I'm talking about forever. You heard me? And, 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 and another Actually, thing, no, because you can't I go to jail and be pissed. I will, I will not tolerate any disrespect. You hear me? Put some respect on my name. I knew a couple places you was at. I could have pulled up, but I said, "Nah, that ain't gangsta. I want to look you in your face like a man. I want to talk to you like a man. Quit playing with my name. All three of y'all. Quit playing with my name. <laughs> y'all finished or y'all done? <laughs> are you finished or are you done? I ain't saying nothing about it. All right, just let's be out there. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> <That's> not <laughs> no, you, you <laughs> sorry. are not. I'm sorry. I don't even know. I, s- I don't even know I was where in was and out of my, I was in and out of my accent like Angela Bassett. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Where was I from that time? Because you said my African was bad. Where was I from that time? I don't know. Because sometimes you start talking and it just it don't even go in my ear. It just be like, Shoo. so I don't even know what you said. Okay, so maybe we should. You just turned into Birdman. <laughs> Rich Gang One Hundred. Hi. Are you just starting a podcast but don't have any sponsors, ads, or commercials? Well, so are we. That's why we decided to make our own. Yeah, so like we didn't really know what to do. It was like, who about to help us out? Who about to pay for this? Who about to pay us? What we about to do, right? But then we were like, you know what? Why don't we just make our own? Because they say if you teach a man to fish, you can eat forever. So we taught we taught ourselves how to fish, and now we're eating us. Boom, here we are. Yeah, man. Like she uh, said, we sir, was we sir, was sir, looking sir, for sir, it. Sir, sir, you still got the shirt. Advertising man shirt. On. You thought the hat was gonna make a difference? I, I thought they wouldn't like notice. Yeah. Well, now you know you blew, they blew, you blew our whole cover. We we make our own commercials. Take it off. The off hat, or the, off the hat or the shirt? Both. Probably both, huh? Oh, because you should see your hair under that hat. What? Seth Fresh is out. Turn the baby gate. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Let's move on. Um, what's the next topic we want to discuss? I don't know. I can't remember. Because I can stay at Birdman if you I want know, me to. I know. I know. And I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I can stay, I can stay at Stunner. How many names he got? That's why your tank always on E. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I'll be having to be like, you need gas. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Ten miles later. You need gas. That's why my tank Ten is. Ten miles later. Boop, boop. Would you like me to find gas stations near you? Tell them how you really feel. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I am. Because <laughs> it drives me. Go ahead. It obviously, it can't drive you too far. I'm it ain't got no say, gas. Not literally, because... Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> all right. Ooh, anyway, moving on. Look. All right. So, um, 
as we know, this is a crazy world we're living in. Uh, this might get a little more serious, uh, but this is a crazy world we're living in. Uh, you know, us Christian people, they they tell us all the time we're in some type of war, and you don't see it all the time just right on the surface. Now they're doing it right in front of our face. But that's because the Bible says, what is that? Wait, what did it say? Because what part are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> about war. Oh, it said war. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, good call. Yeah. <laughs> what good. is learning. it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Wow. Uh, We're learning. Um, Our Bibles music, are coming. Mu- Our study Bibles are coming on Friday. Musilations 22 and 15. It says we did not battle against flesh and blood. It said that too. Yeah, but against principalities. But against principalities. So that is the war that we don't see unless... You're spiritually awakened on either side. You know, if you're kind of in the middle, like la 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 la, you may you know be in going by the wind, two shades to the wind. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So, with that being said, it's right in front of our face more than ever now. So, uh, out here near where we live, there's this elementary school who actually is allowing a sa- a satanic club to be started as like a after, as one of the uh, programs for after school program. Um, and the reason for allowing this uh, was because the school kind of w- has been put in a position where they couldn't say no because they do have like a Christian club and like all these other clubs. So um, it's basically a matter of everybody having to be included. Um, but I don't think that that's, yeah, I don't think that that's the real, I don't know. For I me, mean, well, you can give your opinion first and then I'll tell you how I feel. It's all pushing an agenda. You know, we can mask it with, it's only fair. Everybody has to be included, you know. It's all pushing the agenda of Satan, you know, when you know what he's trying to do. But um, you were about to say something, and I was going to say something off that, but I forgot. Well, what I was going to say was, I feel like if it's a matter of having to be uh, just include it when it comes to things such as religion. Um, maybe we should do what we've always done and keep those things at home and up to the parents. Well, uh, that's what I would prefer as a parent. If you're going to say, well, because there's a Christian club, we've got to have this satanic club. I'd rather you just say, well, then there won't be a Christian club. And just because you, because one thing is they chose to me very strategically chose an elementary school while know, kids, kids are, are most young and can be molded into anything easier. Yeah, and they just see what looks fun and nice and colorful on the surface and like Yeah. Yeah. Um But even as far as like religion in the schools, I think y'all can fact check me anytime cuz I just be going off what I think I heard cuz I don't keep up with politics, I don't keep up with the news and none of that. I just be like, "Lord, have your way." But anyways, as far as like I think they were taking out like taking out one nation under God out of like or taking out the pledge of allegiance and things like that You're trying to take god from it so it's like you'll remove god from it but then you also add this satan school yeah. so it's like and i guess because at that point it's not a force it's an option but kids are like oh well my one friend my cool friend goes over there you know so we got to make christianity look i know sometimes they got a bad rep especially for people our age who are like <laughs> anti-church because Man. of some bad experience they had. Man, Christianity is born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got to make it look, glorify it just as much as the world glorifies a lot of other things. But with that also, I just saw this thing again on the Shade Room. Uh, it was from Fox News, apparently. I don't watch Fox News. Oh, but yeah, the children are under attack. Yeah, heavily, because it was like this uh, Balenciaga ad, which supposedly they've deleted everything now. With a little girl holding a teddy bear in a, it's not a harness, but the relation was. And again, you have to be woke on that part too. The BDS, BSM, something I weird, the weird stuff that we're, uh, let me not say weird stuff. Some people I, are I like th- that type of thing. Off the top of my head, it was BDBM, and I was like, baby daddies and babies mamas. What? Yeah, I, don't know. I could be wrong. But that, that, I don't, I don't know. I don't like to, no, but anywho. But what but, it was implying is the whole, uh, you know, those types of relationships where it's like, Somebody's yeah. getting tied up and stuff. And yeah, all that. and if you're into that thing, totally fine. But leave babies out of it. Leave children out of it. But in supposedly the papers that were spread on the table were about a court case. 
like banning child pornography and stuff like that. So it's like it's like it's hidden, but it's in your face at the same time. Yeah. Somebody's not gonna walk up to you and be like, <laughs> I was about to say somebody's not gonna walk up to you and be like, "Hi, I'm Satan," but at his show oh. the <laughs> other day. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So sometimes <laughs> so, you know. Sometimes it will walk right up to you and tell you. I was doing the show and this girl kept yelling out. And then I got to my jokes. Uh, I got to these certain jokes that I got to like telling jokes about uh, things that happen like in church. Uh, but I actually mentioned the school, the satanic, uh, with the satanic program after school. And the girl like cheered for it. And then She's I was. Like, yeah, I'm one of them. Yeah, she, she said, yeah, I'm one of them. She was right behind me. Yeah, she definitely <laughs> was right behind uh, Janelle. <laughs> I was on stage. But it's okay. The blood of Jesus covers yeah. <laughs> me, okay? But I was like, so I was like, wait, you one of them? And she was like, yeah. And then she showed me a tattoo like in the middle of her chest. I thought she was trying to show him her titties because it was right there. But the devil would do that too. You got to be careful. I thought I was going to have to come on my seat for the wrong reason. I should have come on my seat for the Lord, not for... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so she was like she was like very open about it. And it was, I was like, literally, before hearing about, um, you know, the satanic club at the school, before talking to her, I even had somebody on Instagram follow me named Lucy Fur, L-U-C-Y Fur, F-U-R. Um, yeah, they got blocked. Anyway, so... Hope and you know... The girl was a nice girl. She was drunk, but she seemed like a nice girl. Yeah, it seemed like she has some, you know, some intelligence to yeah. her. Yeah. Uh, so, like, not to say that Satanist people are dumb, because if anybody knows Satan, know the Bible better than anybody. Yes, and she definitely knew things out of the Bible. <laughs> but yeah, so we have to be nice. We ha as Christians, we have to be nice. We have to be loving. We have to be open to it. But our minds have to be alert at all times too because just like i said the m probably the person that believes in satan or trying to convert you to satanism is not going to walk hi my name is lucy first son and i'm a really nice guy and i like to get to know you and you know so you just have to be watch people's actions and the the, the hidden things yeah and that they um, do one thing and watch your children definitely watch the children because again in both of these cases, Balenciaga and the school, it's it's like a very young child, yeah. a very young children that are being, because again, they're most impressionable. Most of us older people, even once you've hit high school, you probably have heard enough to be kind of like set in your ways and harder to sway. But um, the kids would do it just because it looks cool. Yeah. And I ain't going to lie. Sometimes it's hard to be a Christian. Uh, oh, yeah. They be telling you like your life is much harder when you become saved and you got to walk the Christ. Yeah, because last night we were just reading the well, no, this morning we was reading the Bible mm -hmm. and it, and it said because I heard I heard like if somebody slap you, turn the other cheek. But I thought it meant turn the other cheek and keep walking off. Don't do nothing about it. No, it said turn the other cheek and then give them the other cheek. <laughs> and I was like, you mean you mean let them slap me twice <laughs> and I don't slap nothing back <laughs> like that. <laughs> the, that's where it gets tough. <laughs> like, yeah. so, uh, so yeah, that it, it is, um, you know, and people think that, I don't know, you just got to find like-minded people. You feel me? Yeah. Don't give up on church. Like, don't give up on God. I know, like, a lot of people have had bad experiences in the church, and that's very, 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 very unfortunate. And, you know, you just have to pray wherever you want to go or wherever that God will lead you because he can lead you to the right ones. And he can read your Bible yeah. first. And by so that way you know so that you're prepared to when you walk into a church, you'll be like, no, nah, that ain't for me. You know. And by the way, the, the reason for the school allowing them to have the club is not incorrect, like, from, a, from the standpoint of everybody should be able to make a choice. Go ahead and make a choice. God wants you to actually make a choice. Right. So you should be, if you want to be a Satanist, go ahead and be a Satanist. That's on you. <laughs> well, they say suit yourself. But that's cool. But where, where, it gets, where it gets bad is when they are trying to put these things right in front of uh, everyone's Innocent face. Like it's, blind. But I, I will say one benefit of like the time we're in now, the pan, from the pandemic through now, is... Um, Everyone is showing exactly who they are. Everyone is outwardly who they are. So even, you know, this this uh, 
you know, more people are being comfortable being who they are. So racists are being racist. People who are uh, supportive of all ethnicities are being that. Um, Christians are being Christians. Satanists are being Satanists. Uh, if you're gay, you're more out and open and free to express that. Uh, you know, everybody is out in the open so you know exactly who is who, whether it's good or, or bad. And I think that that's actually a good thing. Yeah, and who's to say it's good or bad, you know? Like, we believe in God, so we believe God has the final say. But yeah. somebody who doesn't believe in God, you know? Yeah. That's the only, only thing we can tell you is how well, good God is to us and our perfect, our, what's that, profession yeah. of love or whatever for God. But, like, if you do something else over there, that's all you. We don't want to be people who are, like, no, you're wrong. We're not cursing nobody. We're not judging nobody. Truthfully, we love everybody. Like, yeah. even the girl saying she was a Satanist at the comedy show, I was never, like, I didn't say any, like, rude jokes to her. I actually, I gave, her, nice. I gave her a cool seven minutes of my <laughs> set to have a discussion with me. Yeah. Like, I didn't even tell my own jokes. So it's, it's more so, um, I guess, once you know who everybody is, as long as you still, because, the, again, like, the Christian thing to do is to love thy neighbor like you love yourself love everybody no matter what their their own choice is worry about your own choice don't try to um force your choices or your views on everybody to the point where now we got all this conflict in the world um going on to where people got to get canceled yeah. for having opinions the bible don't say when you see people sinning go beat them up it don't say it that says, at all. It says, don't be around them. And that's fine. You're not going to like everybody. Everybody's not going to like you. Move around. Go find people who are more like-minded. It's yeah. just like, girls, you don't like hanging around hoes? Don't hang around hoes. You know, if you're not Yeah, because if, if you <laughs> hang around a barbershop long enough, eventually you're going to get a haircut. If you hang, if you, <laughs> if you hang around six hoes, eventually the group going to be seven hoes. You know? But go where you, you know, go where you want to be, you know, go where your heart were. When you go to sleep at night, you at peace because of the decisions that you made in life, the things that you yeah. said. Like, that's do, all it's about. Do, do you. Boo, uh, boo. Boo, mm. boo. Do you, boo, boo. And as long as nobody is hurting you, yeah. uh, there's no reason for you to want to hurt them. You should just love, every, respect everybody else's choice because that's all it is, is, is their choice. You don't got to impose your will on nobody to the point you may have a you may have you may grow up with a twin sister and you go be christian and she go be a satanist do you have to hate your twin sister no you can only pray for her at that point but you still gotta love her um yeah you know can't be that way i think i just had the verse yesterday it was like or i think even this morning love your enemies or love those who persecute you pray for those who persecute you yeah so it's like isn't is even in like the church it's unfortunate because we have seen it you know that people are what's the, I, don't know, I don't know what the right word is to say ragged on bagged on whatever yeah well yeah. bagged on would be real 2002 of you <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I know you ain't bagging. <laughs> if you don't get your own, yo, you bagging? I don't know what the word <laughs> is, but you know, like Christianity can be very judgmental, and that's a, a lot of problems that people have with the church. <laughs> you know, yeah. but you know, the Bible says, "Judge ye not be judged." I mean, and that's what we for, that's what sometimes is forgotten is mm -hmm. that you not supposed you are not supposed to be the one being judgmental. Yeah, and, and the problem with that. Uh, again, we're going to go on with this topic. But <laughs> but the problem with that is there are a lot of people who have gone to church and then never returned. Um, there are a lot of people who have gone to church. Bless you, baby. Thank you. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> no, but uh, there are a lot of people who have gone to church and then they had a bad experience with a pastor or a member of the church or whatever, where maybe a church was stealing money from you or you did have an argument or somebody, whatever. Um, and they never returned. And, and Go to a different church. Yes, go to a different church because one it's thing like is... It's like Costco samples. You don't like it, just go to the next Exactly. One the There's going to be one, one, one for you because the church is just a building and the pastor is just a person just like you. So those things can be evil as well. Um, but that is also, too, why it's important 
as people in a church or just as a Christian in general to not walk around judging people because somebody may really need you to just love them and that'll get them to where, you know, they, they need to be. But you just pushing them away. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I so. was going to say something. But I forgot. It'll come to me another time we talk about the Lord because we could do that all day. Yeah. So we wasn't supposed to go this far. But we wasn't. But this speaking of the Lord and God, Thanksgiving <laughs> <laughs> is coming up. Yeah. I, and I said it's because my, pa- or my patient's wife was like, oh, happy holidays, you know, happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate that. And I was like, well, I like to eat and I love Jesus. So if that's considered celebrating, yes. We definitely, I don't, this is what all these holidays really, I don't even look forward to. The meaning of the holiday. <laughs> I can't even tell you what. Is it Plymouth Rock? Pilgrims? Is that th- Thanksgiving is for? We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Is that Sorry. what Thanksgiving is for? That's what, they, that's what I was supposed to say. The colonizers came. <laughs> that's when, that's supposedly, wasn't it like the first like feast between the pilgrims and the Indians when they was finally able to like link up? That's what they told us. I don't know if that's the truth behind the story. I heard, I've been hearing different stuff. But we technically. Was a feast before they killed them all with smallpox? I don't know if they were smallpox or big people will give you pox. the last supper before Jesus died. Remember, they will feed you before they kill you. Yeah. I don't know if it was smallpox, big pox, monkey pox, or two pox. But it was some pox. The Spanish flu. When was Pilgrims and Mayflower? Spanish flu was like 1900. I don't know. I don't really care. Yeah. But anywho, the point is, like, we use it as time to just get together and eat, you know, cook the big meals yeah. for eat. family to come. Although, you know. Break every diet you ever had. I feel like greens is healthy. <laughs> they healthy. Turkey t- is healthy. First of all, these things. Well, maybe it's the turkey. just a pie that's not healthy. Wait, is the turkey. But it's sweet potato. What if you're a person who fries your turkey? Is that turkey still healthy? Yeah. Okay, now what if you're a person who add all these different elements to your greens? Are those greens still healthy? So these things is only healthy depending on what you do with them. And most, I'm going to just speak for black people. <laughs> don't none of it be healthy by the time we get <laughs> done with it. <laughs> Yo, don't, don't none of it be healthy. I don't know. It's I not them and cook with Coke. <laughs> boy, the, the, the macaroni and cheese got like 40 cheeses and like 32 different butters, including <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. Like, what? Ew. <laughs> I don't Good know. thing you don't cook. I need to find. First of all, don't. If dis- y'all know. For, time out. No, don't wait. Get hold on. up, because I want to forget. If y'all know a good vegan cheese or macaroni recipe, please drop it in the comments. And please don't say that dye your little box wanna be bubbly the shells. That ain't it. I'm talking about for the real deal. Put it in the oven. Baked macaroni. Just, my mom made a good one one time. But she's not going to be here for Thanksgiving this year. Oh. Yeah. What did you want to say? I was just going to say, like, don't get on here telling these people I can't cook because I, I do cook. You know, you know, you know I make. I'm not going to say you can't cook because you don't cook enough for me to say that you can't cook. I, I make, you know, I make. You make breakfast. I make a good toast. Like, don't do that. Like, you know, my no, t- you know, you make really good oatmeal. You know, my oatmeal. You know, but yeah. it's better than Jamba, and I struggle with making Come on, oatmeal. Baby, let me but tell you, you look, make good look, oatmeal. Let me, look here, baby. Look, let me tell you about the oatmeal, though. Let me tell you what you let me tell you what you need to understand about the oatmeal, baby. I shouldn't have laughed at him last time because now he's talking to do this every oh, time, no, but the worst no, part no. is he do it like in real life. No, no, so it ain't even about them laughing. It's really what me if for I just real. went like this? No, oh, no, I didn't no, but look, let me let me explain to you. See, see, see. See can oatmeal. You, can they hear you if I blow? No, <laughs> I'm really trying to teach somebody something here, because listen, listen. Reach my bag. Listen here, baby, because you can learn something too. Okay. The thing is, you mentioned how I make great oatmeal. Let me tell you the key to oatmeal because it's also the key to life. You feel me? Um, oatmeal is only good based on consistency. Your life is only going to be good if you have consistency. You feel me? Sometimes. Sometimes your life can be, you know, too too crowded and too congested, which means your oatmeal is too chunky. But sometimes it could be too watery and free flowing. You know what I'm saying? Not enough consistency. So so the key to oatmeal and the key to life is to find somewhere where you can be right there in the middle. The key to life would be being open to and a 
adapting to change because consistency means it's not going to change. Life goes up and it goes down, so you need to be able to change. Hey, but look, one thing that can't change is you. You know what I'm saying? Life is going to change, but if you are who you are, no matter what changes come, you're going to be that person no matter what. So yeah, Oatmeal is oatmeal no matter how much water you put in it or don't put in it. Yeah, the oatmeal is. But when you add that water, then what do it become? Or milk for people that like milk. Yeah. So, see, there's a lot of different ways you can get to the oatmeal, depending what you like. Yeah, well, then. So, it's not being the key said, to life. It's not consistent. I mean, with that being said, take your ass to Jamba Juice. I would say consistency would be the key to progression. I mean, ain't that what we out here to do? Progress in life? Yeah, but it's not. But changes happen. I don't know. You didn't mention. You didn't mention flow and being progressive. Are you looking for car insurance? No, we already have progressive. Oh, that's what this is about. They promotion. always got good rates in California. Man, why I just we want didn't everybody to know that <laughs> they're not gonna pay us for that. But I'm just gonna say, if you they live not. in California, no, actually, they better progressive pay. Progressive got they better y'all better pay us for low, that. Low, like yeah. low rates, because I shopped around. Y'all better pay us for that because still a triple. Uh, love and basketball. Love and basketball make is our favorite movie. Because we're triple A members. No, I'm sending a message high. because you said they won't pay us. And they could. They could. They will. In Jesus' name, Progressive is going to pay us one day for this ad. because Yeah, so we can afford the insurance that we do got. Because it is the cheapest. But we'll switch over to Quentin McCall Daddy quick. Go right over there to all states, Stan. Are they still in business? I don't know, but I like Chris Paul, too. We can go with State Farm. Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully one day. I'm going to retire from State Farm. Or we can go with Mercury. We already had that one. I don't know. I'm just I'm running out of insurances anyway. Nationwide is on your side. I I always knew it was niggas on that because that was the most <laughs> niggas jingle <laughs> when they would sing it. Hold Think on, about it. it. Go ahead. I'll give you a beat. But then they started doing commercials with non black people. But yeah. But they're in Bakersfield there is a Geico lady. I can't think of her name. Oh yeah. Does she be on the commercials? Dancing, what's her name? I don't know. I just know the lizard. Gosh, she's a black lady in town that does Geico insurance. Dang, I, I can't think of her name. But anyway, we was talking about Thanksgiving. I don't know how we got all the oh, way yeah. to. to <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that's just our take on Thanksgiving. We we technically, well, she was talking about the celebration. We do technically celebrate Thanksgiving because, mm-hmm. but I don't think we celebrate. <laughs> this is what all these holidays, truthfully, when you get grown. Are you even celebrating the holiday itself? Or are you just you just celebrating the time off from work and you celebrating the fact that your whole family going to be in town? How many of y'all is off Thursday and Friday? Should be everybody. If you're not, not true, quit huh? your job. Huh? Or you got to tell them to trade that Veterans Day holiday or one of them other holidays for that day. Yeah. I mean, there so are people. Two days off. There are people who just want the ho- that want the holiday. Well, yeah, I can see where some jobs won't let you. Because if you got like a retail job, you got to work Black Friday. Well, we got to be up early. Yeah. Or late. I want to say when I worked at Foot Locker, I worked at Black Friday. Torture. I definitely, when I worked at Zoomies, worked at a Black Friday. You worked at Zoomies? Come on, maybe I'll tell you I worked everywhere. What you need done? <laughs> Can you change oil? I, never wor- I, I was never a mechanic. I'd just be going <laughs> to get my oil changed. But I can learn. <laughs> learn on the old car. Because we need a transmission. First service. of all, <laughs> first of all, what is that going to do for the car we got? Because I can learn on the old car, and it's not about to do nothing for none of these new cars. Well, the old car is not that old. Oh. Anyway, my leg just came off of Janelle's leg, so that means it's time for us to go. Uh, do you have anything you want to say before we get up out of here? With my nursing hat on. Because y'all might be around y'all elderly family members coming to holidays. It's very important. If an elderly person falls, they need to go to the emergency room or urgent care or someone to get their cardiac enzymes checked. Because for some reason, when old people fall, it like shoots their heart up, their heart enzymes up, and they're more at risk for a heart attack. So it may not seem like anything is wrong at first, but just, yeah, get them checked out. Keep them safe. These holidays, okay? Yeah, so now 
uh, now that y'all have just seen that, if this randomly happens to you, you know you can come back to this video and look for that piece of infor information. By the way, this is just to let y'all in. Uh, Janelle will be doing, um, on each episode, she is going to be doing, like, health facts for y'all. So make sure y'all also tuning in to, you know what I'm saying, get healthy. We're going to be talking, or she's going to be talking about all types of stuff that I don't even know about. Uh, I be finding out randomly. Like, one time, like, I'm not going to lie, I have farted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it, it may or may not have, like, you know, like, didn't smell good, stunk, whatever, however you want to frame it. Um, and she was like, oh, my gosh, it's because it's, it's, cause it's still in your jejunum. And I was like, your jejunum? What's, I got a jejunum? And she was like, yeah, that's why. And then she broke down what, she broke down my whole gut and the insides of what was going on. But needless to say. You know when people got, like, wet, smelling farts? Like, I think I said mm -hmm. enough. I don't. I don't think I need you to like. But some people might understand. Like, you know, how farts can smell wet. That's nasty. I <laughs> think I said enough. I. I. Was, anyway, yeah. So she's gonna be talking about all that stuff. You know how you can improve your skin and all that through just different stuff. Oh, if y'all would have saw my skin in 2019, 2020. Yeah, that's before I met her. But I had, I a, I had a dull acne, and don't say it. Because if you've seen our Instagram, you've seen the adacne <laughs> little joke. wasn't funny. Still not it funny. was hilarious. No, it wasn't. Adacne? I would say that I cut out dairy, <laughs> and I miss cheese pizzas so bad. But I also prayed about it. I literally was like, Lord, please let my skin get clearer and my hair grow and... What would happen? You was grown going through puberty. <laughs> that's funny. Yo, that's funny. <laughs> I'm a late bloomer. You was you? grown going through puberty. That's hilarious. You should be happy. So now you know your daughter at the age of 10 won't have tiggo bitties because her mama was a late bloomer too. First of all, I don't want my daughter to have tiggo bitties at no age. <laughs> What? I'm just saying, these, <laughs> these kids are full grown. Anyway. At 15. But yeah, so yeah, so that was it. It's the hormones in the milk. So see if you cut out dairy. We're not supposed to be. They won't start their periods earlier. And, you know, because kids are having sex earlier now and getting pregnant earlier. No, some people kids are having sex earlier. Some people, yes. But these little kids that think it's okay to kiss the other little kid. Mm -hmm. That's because they went to the little satanic club and they told them it was cool. I don't think they tell them stuff like that. Although, because sex is a sin against the body, they might promote sex. So <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's why a lot of people don't want to go to church. And, and they're like, you can't have They're going to tell us not to have sex? All right. Uh, We're going to talk about sex on our next show because we got to go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, yeah, stay tuned for that because we are definitely planning on talking about Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about... Bubbles in the tub. Let's talk about making love. Let's talk about you on top. <laughs> Girl, let's go now. What are you talking about? What? What is this? On the podcast. On the podcast. Like, <laughs> <I just don't laughs> okay. Bye, y'all. Check out our Instagrams. Yeah. Uh, this is underscore DJ TV. I am Nelly B. He got more followers than me, and I'm a little sad. It don't matter. Your followers is my followers, baby. The minute we got married, everything became one. You feel me? My, so. Your followers are my followers. Yeah, whatever. What's mine is yours. But anyway, yeah, like we say, go ahead and follow us on there. But most importantly, make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Y'all like this video. Y'all share this video. And stay tuned for the next one. We will be dropping these every week. Uh, we're looking at dropping them every Thursday. So we're going to try to make sure we stay like the oatmeal and be consistent, the correct amount of consistency, you feel me? But we changed this week because we're dropping it on Wednesday. Yes, to be considerate of y'all. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Of course, it's selfish of us. Well, we already did that, episode, so we're being uh, considerate by saying, hey, we're not going to try to make y'all sit down and watch it on the holiday. That's true. Yeah. All righty. All right, so yeah, deuces. Peace. Entertainment.